We're good. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Board of Supervisors meeting and a happy new year to everyone. Uh, we will begin this morning with the roll call. Mr. Clerk? Thank you, Chairwoman Jacob. Supervisor Greg Cox? Here. Supervisor Ron Roberts? Here. Supervisor Dave Roberts? Here. Vice Chairman Bill Horn? Here. Chairwoman Diane Jacob? Here. I would like to introduce to everyone the new Clerk of the Board of Supervisors, David Hall. This is his first board meeting. And David, I believe your first day. So welcome to the county Thank again. You. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. This is a very exciting day. We have swearing in ceremony for several of the elected officials in our county. And uh, we're going to begin with this ceremony with the presentation of the colors. If everyone would please stand. The presentation of the colors will be presented by the Sheriff's Department Honor Guard. Next, we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance, and leading the Pledge of Allegiance this morning will be Juliana and Ava Eaton. If you'd please come forward. Please place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Good job. And next we'll have the invocation, and leading the invocation this morning will be Jeff Horn, who's the associate pastor of Green Valley Church, also the son of the vice chair, soon to be chair, Bill Horn. Jeff? If you would bow with me in prayer. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives generously and without finding fault. And we know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Heavenly Father, we pray... Um, today to you. We acknowledge you. We thank you for the blessing and the privilege that it is to live in this unique and beautiful county of San Diego. And we ask today as, as some of our leaders are sworn in again or maybe for the first time that you would rain down your wisdom and your insight upon them. Thank you for placing them in positions of leadership and of influence. And we ask God in the middle of, of their daily lives and of the choices that they would make that you would give them thick skin and soft hearts, and sharp minds, and listening ears, and honest words. May you smile down upon uh, each person who is serving in, in an elected capacity. God, we pray for those in law enforcement and the military who serve us. We thank you for them. We ask that you would protect them and all that they are doing. We give you grace and thanks. We pray that you would help each of us to accomplish your will. We pray this in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jeff. And everyone may be seated, please. We'll proceed with the administration of the oaths of office, and we'll begin with Supervisor Ron Roberts from the 4th District, and the oath will be administered by former San Diego Mary, uh, Mayor Jerry Sanders. I 
I state your name. I, Ron Roberts. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. Good job. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It never gets old. Let me, uh, first of all, good morning to everyone, and a special thank you uh, to now uh, former Mayor Jerry Sanders, a uh, long time, very, very long time friend. Uh, I was part of the group that made him a chief of police years ago, and, uh, and uh, knew him even before that. So it's nice to have you here, Jerry. You've been such a good friend over the years. Uh, and recently he, he gave me a very special award from the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, you can see it on the screen. I'm told he had a major part in designing this special award. So it's, uh, it holds a very unique place in my, my office. But I want to thank all of you for being here today, especially my wife, Helene, and she deserves her own special award. And it wouldn't be a bottle of beer. I would share that with you. I'm also joined here by two of my three daughters, uh, Andrea and Deborah, uh, who, if you know me, you know I'm intensely proud of all of my, my three daughters, and I'm delighted that they could be here with me. I want to offer my congratulations to the other elected officials who are here and are about to be swearing in, and to my colleagues for being here on this uh, special day. We have a great county team. And we are led and, and inspired by and have the divine guidance of Helen Robin Myers as our chief county executive, and I'm very appreciative of her efforts. Finally, I want to offer special thanks to the voters in the fourth supervisorial districts for their strong support and the strong partnerships that we've forged over many years. It brought me something in 2014 that I'd never experienced before as an elected official, and that was an unopposed election. I want to thank them very, very much uh, for that. Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge because knowledge is limited. As an architect, I was trained to imagine. As a member of this board, I've had the good fortune of working with people who share this trait, and over the years we have imagined. Try to imagine a special place for foster kids, unlike any that's ever been built before. As a team, we did, and it's the San Pasquale Academy, which is probably one of the most successful programs in the country for foster kids. Or try to imagine a government campus designed for visitors and county staff to meet in a friendly, efficient place. As a team, we did. This is the County Operations Center, Kearney Mesa. Or try to imagine a library that's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, providing books and DVDs. At all hours of the day, you can get what, what you need. As a team, we did. Or try to imagine a beautiful waterfront park that would replace sterile parking lots. As a team, we did. And finally, try to imagine a community where the air is healthier and cleaner and air pollution is becoming less and less. And if you look at the yellow line, which shows the incredible decrease in air pollution in San Diego County. 
as a team, we did. Our imagination shouldn't be limited just to purely county issues. So imagine a trolley going to the UCSD campus in our largest concentration of medical facilities. As a team, we can. We're trying to imagine a new kind of transit, an aerial gondola that the, brings the equivalent of one bus per minute in transportation. As a team, we can. Or try to imagine, as the sheriff can do easily, a new 158,000 square foot crime lab serving our region's cities with the latest state-of-the-art technology. Not a TV program, as we're showing on the screen, but as a real building. And as a team, we can. And try to imagine a new stadium befitting our region of San Diego. As a team, and with the partnership of the city of San Diego, and I see Todd, my friend Todd Gloria here, as a team, we can do this. And it won't have red seats like this one. I want to thank all of you for being here today. This is a very special day for me and my family. But I want to share with you, we have a great county team. Imagine that. Thank you. Thank you, Ron, and congratulations. Next up is Supervisor Bill Horn, representing the 5th District, and the oath will be administered by the Honorable Judge Timothy M. Casserly, San Diego Superior Court. Stand close to the mic. All right, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Bill Horn. I, Bill Horn. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California and the Constitution of the State of California that I take this obligation freely I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion or purpose of evasion and that I will well and faithfully and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. Congratulations. Thank you, Judge. I appreciate it very much. Is this one on? OK. Well, first, I want to thank uh, my wife, Kathy, and my son, Jeff, for being here and being part of the, the uh, swearing in again. Um, I've always wondered why we have to retake the oath every four years. Is it only good for four years? I don't. I see the sheriff's laughing there. I, I took this oath as a 20-year-old Marine, um, and so. Uh, but it's my privilege and to do it once again. I want to thank the voters of North County once again uh, for putting me in the office and electing me, and allowing me to uh, help govern the county of San Diego. Um, there is life north of the eight. I know for many of you that's not a reality, but for many of us who live up there, um, we're about as big as the city of San Diego. I want to thank Judge Cassidy for coming down from Vista um, and swearing the oath. Actually, he's done this every time I've been reelected. So this is my sixth election, and I appreciate it very much. Um, the, uh, I, I would just say is I don't have a, anywhere near the speech or presentation that Ron has. Um, I'm very proud of the County of San Diego, um, and I'm very proud of my colleagues who I've served with. Um, very obviously to me, um, they understand what it means to be a good and faithful servant. Uh, I think the County of San Diego has honestly and forthrightly protected the taxpayers of the County of San Diego. Uh, I think we've provided tremendous services. Uh, we have about 17,000 employees in this county. Um, and every one of them does an outstanding job every day. Uh, we have a 
number of sworn deputies uh, who are on the street right now, 24-7, um, and I think the, the enjoyment we have of a peaceful um, county is based upon their obligation, their commitment every day to go to work and put their lives on the line. Uh, I know later that the sheriff will be sworn in, um, in but I, I do appreciate this, the county, the, the staff that we have, uh, Bonnie Dumanis, the district attorney's here. Uh, she's always been very vigilant uh, to uh, protect the county and look after our interests. So um, I, I would just say to the county staff, I'm proud to be part of you, uh, and I'm proud of the service we've had. Uh, Ron and I will be done this at the end of this term. We will each have had 24 years here. Um, and I hope that uh, the stewardship that we have displayed at this county uh, will carry on into the future. Um, uh, that's something that greatly concerns me, um, but I'll talk more about that later. Anyway, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for my family for, for and uh, commitment to come and enjoy us. Uh, and I appreciate that you guys all have a great day, and I'm glad to see um, Chief of Police Sanders and Mayor in the audience. Uh, I didn't get any beer. What's the deal? Okay. Uh, <laughs> But today we get sworn in, tomorrow we get sworn out. So thank you very much. Thank you, Bill, and congratulations to you too. And next up, speaking of the sheriff, Sheriff William Gore. And the oath will be administered by the Honorable Judge Michael Popkins from the San Diego Superior Court. Raise your hand and please repeat after me. I, please state your name. I, Bill Gore. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. And I will bear true faith and allegiance and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California and the Constitution of the State of California that I take this obligation freely that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion or purpose of evasion and I will and I will faithfully faithfully discharge the duties upon which Discharge the duties upon which I'm about to enter. I'm about to enter. <laughs> Done that. Congratulations. <laughs> I've done that a couple of times. Eh? A PowerPoint run? Really? Come on. It's his house. I guess he can bring the PowerPoint if he wants. I do have just a, uh, a few remarks, and uh, start off by thanking uh, Judge Michael Popkins, who swore me in today. Uh, Judge uh, Popkins serves honorably on the, the bench in North County, the Superior Court bench. Uh, but I asked him to do this because of uh, his previous job. He was one of the best uh, public defenders in one of the best public defender's offices in the country. And sometimes I think our public defender, uh, Henry, you here out there somewhere? I think I saw Henry Coker earlier. Thanks for being here. Uh, don't get the recognition. They're such a valuable part of the entire criminal justice system. And, and Michael, it meant a lot to me for you to be swear me in this morning. So thank you very much. Uh, I'd also like to uh, thank the Board of Supervisors uh, for your support. Uh, we all downsized together during the Great Recession. And you talked about public safety being your number one priority. And uh, how they say you put your money where your mouth was as we built back up. Uh, I, I, we couldn't have done it without your support. Uh, leadership of Helen and Walt before uh, before her. Uh, Ron, thank you. You've been a great uh, deputy CAO for public safety. I can't thank you all enough for the, the, the resource you've given us and the confidence you've displayed in the sheriff's office. Uh, you've made this a better county to live in, so thank you for your support. Uh, a couple of people have alluded, or one person alluded to, running unopposed, and uh, it's a lot nicer than running with, against somebody, I'll tell you that. And uh, nobody knows better than, than me uh, who's responsible for me running opposed uh, last time. And it's, it's the men and women of the San Diego County Sheriff's Department. 
from the undersheriff at Prendergast down to the, the newest uh, professional staff hire. They uh, just do a tremendous, tremendous job uh, in, in keeping this uh, a safe and, uh, uh, county. Uh, we've had extremely, uh, some extremely difficult challenges in the last uh, four years uh, from uh, criminal justice realignment uh, to uh, as recently as Prop 47 here about a month ago. But in every, uh, every challenge that's been thrown in front of the people and the men and women of the Sheriff's Department, uh, they rose to the occasion. Uh, our Detention Services Bureau uh, has done a great job of implementing uh, realignment, uh, standing up a uh, first phase of a new, f f pardon me, women's detention facility at Las Colinas, a uh, new 400-bed facility at East Mesa. Uh, they've done a tremendous job and really put programming at the heart of everything we do. Uh, that was what's so nice about working in San Diego County. When we looked at realignment, we didn't just look at it from the probation department and the DA and the sheriff. We looked at a comprehensive view of how we can regionalize this problem, because it is a regional problem. We all came together and came up with a plan. When I say all, it was, it was a team effort, from the judiciary to health and human services to, to probation. Mac Jenkins is here. A lot of weight fell on the probation department, sheriff's department, DA. A tremendous team effort, and as a result of this, I'm convinced that we implemented criminal justice realignment uh, better in San Diego County than any other place in the nation. So I thank our people in detentions, and that spills over to law enforcement, too. Uh, Intelligence-led policing or information-led policing, depending on who you talk to in our department, uh, has been a tremendous success. And we've taken the law enforcement uh, uh, coordination uh, center and, and put that into a really a regional concept, where we've taken the intelligence out there with all the local agencies and federal agencies, put it together, and, and try to get ahead of and be proactive instead of reactive to crime. That's translated in the criminal uh, realignment area of, of tracking known offenders, the prolific offenders. Everybody that works in criminal justice knows there's a small percentage of the criminals that commit, uh, that commit a large percentage of the crime. And by working in a regional concept and looking at these prolific offenders, we're keeping crime rates at 30, 40 year lows. Uh, tremendous job by everybody. Our court services bureau, uh, you talk about doing more with less, uh, as Judge Popkins knows, uh, the state's been squeezing the court system in this, in this state uh, uh, pretty hard. Uh, the budget cuts have been tremendous, uh, putting a lot of strain on our Court Services Bureau to really do more with less and to work closely with the judiciary and trying to, to keep our courtroom safe and, and work on the construction of our new courthouse downtown. So across all avenues of the Sheriff's Department, uh, they've met all these challenges with, like we say, with uh, as opportunities to, to make this a better department and a better and safer county to live in. I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, also thank the Deputy Sheriff's Association. I saw Matt Clay here earlier. I don't know if he's still here. If you're up there, Matt. Thank you if you're out here. Uh, there you are, Matt. Hi. Uh, a tremendous uh, partnership. Uh, we don't always agree on things, but I think we've developed between the Deputy Sheriff's Association and the command staff of the Sheriff's Department a great relationship to where we can talk about issues uh, and agree to disagree sometimes. And when we do agree on things, we're, we're a pretty formidable force to be reckoned with. So I thank you for your partnership and the fine work of DSA. And lastly, thank you to my wife, Natalie, and my son, Ryan, who were up here with me when I was sworn in. I realize it's not easy being the family of an elected official. Uh, on the other hand, it does keep me out of the house during the day, so you can look at it from that st <laughs> standpoint. So. I thank you for your support. It means a lot to me. I love you both, and, and thanks for being here. Thank you, and, uh, and, uh, and, and thank you again to the Board of Supervisors, and thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you, Sheriff, and congratulations to you, too. Uh, next up is our District Attorney, Bonnie Dumanis. And the oath will be administered by Assistant District Attorney Jesse Rodriguez. I didn't hear any comments this morning about who's the top law enforcement official. Oh, we'll get there. <laughs> I was afraid of that. <clears throat> Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Bonnie Dumanis, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, 
the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. Congratulations. <laughs> I would say go big or go home, so I have a big family here with me today. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, Chairman, Chairwoman, excuse me, Jacob, and members of the Board of Supervisors uh, and my uh, fellow electeds uh, and uh, other dignitaries uh, here today. Uh, thank you all here for joining us. Uh, I want to first say thank you. Good work, Jesse. <laughs> He's been with me for 12 years, and we hope to have him for a while longer. <laughs> I want to thank the uh, people of uh, San Diego County for once again electing me to serve for another four years. Unlike Ron Roberts uh, and Sheriff Bill Gore. Uh, both uh, Supervisor Horn and myself did have an election this year, but I have to admit, I do prefer running unopposed. And I got to do that twice, so uh, I know what that feels like. But I'm truly humbled uh, and honored uh, to have this position. Um, I too want to say thank you to uh, the Board of Supervisors for all that you've done uh, I've worked with each and every one of you in various ways, some of you longer than others. Uh, and we have the newest one, uh, Dave Roberts, uh, who wasn't here uh, last time, but uh, which we welcome. Uh, but as the sheriff said, you all put your money where your mouth is, and, and uh, the priority of public safety has never wavered from uh, this uh, Board of Supervisors, nor uh, the shepherding uh, of our resources as taxpayers, and I appreciate that. And uh, Helen Robbins Myers is uh, one of uh, our true heroes as well, and uh, I appreciate her leadership and Walt's before that. Uh, it's been a pleasure and an honor to uh, serve with all of you. And uh, unlike Supervisor Roberts and Horn, I expect to make 24 years too. <laughs> the next date, by the way, in case you're wondering, for swearing in is January 7th, 2019. I'll be here. So when I stood here, though, 12 years ago and uh, was sworn in as the first uh, woman district attorney in San Diego County, I felt the full weight and responsibility of the office on my shoulders. And that responsibility has not been taken lightly. Uh, during my tenure as uh, the county's top prosecutor, Our office has reached out to some 100,000 crimes of victims, and we filed nearly a half million criminal cases. Some of those stand out, uh, of course, and one of those is the murders of Amber Dubois and Chelsea King that rocked our community and left a lasting impression on all of us. Even as an experienced prosecutor and judge, the case challenged me and it challenged our team. And I'm very proud of how us, all of us in law enforcement, uh, the community, pulled together to solve these crimes and ultimately hold the murder accountable. And it's even more um, of a sweet moment to have Judge Popkins here uh, swearing in Sheriff Gore, because as we all know, Sheriff Gore uh, showed great leadership uh, during that uh, time period. 
uh, but also it's about the relationships that we create. And had it not been for Sheriff Gore, had it not been for the public defender, Henry Coker, and it had not been for Judge Popkins, who was then the public defender, uh, as well as Mel Epley, uh, that case uh, never would have um, ended as successfully as it had, uh, and I appreciate that tremendously. I can tell you that our team at the District Attorney's Office approaches all our cases with that same dedication, professionalism, and caring. Uh, some of the other challenges that we've faced uh, as a team for the past several years, uh, we've, uh, the Sheriff mentioned uh, the great fiscal challenge that we all had uh, during the recession, uh, but through the District Attorney's Office we were able, with the help of the GMS and the County General Sur Management System, to uh, tighten our belts and to prevent being um, lay having any layoffs, uh, which I am tremendously grateful for that. We face the public safety challenge of the prisoner alignment, but working with the sheriff, probation, and the courts, uh, we've been a statewide leader in responding to it. And now, of course, we, ha we face Prop 47, but we're on it. We're already on it. We're working to provide reentry services for inmates, and we are going to work to keep our neighborhoods safe. But the credit for much of what we've accomplished over the past decade absolutely goes to the incredible team in the District Attorney's Office, the men and women who are in the trenches every day. We're a family in the DA's office, and if I could have had all thousand up here with me, I would have. I often say when one of us is hurting, all of us are hurting. And likewise, when one of us succeeds, we all share in that success. To the deputy DAs, to the DA investigators, paralegals, support staff, IT staff, executive management team, many of whom are here, and everyone in the district attorney's office, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything uh, that you do. You're the backbone of justice. It's a privilege working with you on behalf of the people. It's an honor when you stand up in court and say, for the people. That's why I want to take a minute to acknowledge the entire team and show you just some of the faces of the people in our office who do the heavy lifting and really make it happen all the time. So Ron, you had a PowerPoint, I have a video. Are we ready?
So I want to give a special thanks uh, to the men and women of the DA's office and also to the associations that we uh, deal with. Uh, I saw Steve Walter, who's the president of the Deputy DA's Association. Uh, I think Jim Kerber, who is the deputy, uh, the president of San Diegans Against Crime, and Matt O'Dean, who is the president of the District Attorney Investigators Association. I want to thank you and all the members of the team uh, for all that you do on a regular basis. Um, I also want to just, uh, I know I'm going to try and wrap it up short, but I've never quite been known for being short in my speeches. So um, please bear with me because I did run. I do have a few uh, final thank yous uh, to make. And I know you have two other electeds to sit through, so I'll try and make it quick. Uh, first, I want to say during my entire time as the district attorney, there's been one person who's been by my side the entire time in the office, um, and that is the assistant district attorney, Jesse Rodriguez, who swore me in. I thought it was only fitting that Jesse, my partner, do that. Jesse, just stand and let us applaud you. And uh, also, uh, I want to say a special thank you to Steve Walker, who put that video together in uh, like a day's notice. Uh, he does a great job. And I want to thank the executive team uh, of the office, who really helps put forth those ideas that we come up with. Uh, I'm the ideas, Jesse's the details, and then the execution is the executive team and all the folks in the office. Uh, and I want to thank some of the folks that are here today that um, have uh, really um, specially helped during the campaign. And uh, I, I certainly want to thank Sheriff Bill Gore um, for being uh, a partner in law enforcement, but for being there in every aspect of this. I know he knows what it's like to run in a campaign uh, that's contested, uh, but he certainly was there. He is, um, as I left him a message, the top law enforcement officer of San Diego County. He got it on tape. However, I'm the top law enforcement official in San Diego County. Uh, I also want to say a special thanks and welcome to uh, the chairman of uh, Sequan Band of Kumaya Nation, Cody Martinez. I know he's here. I didn't see him. Uh, Cody, uh, congratulations. Uh, I want to uh, welcome you aboard. We have had a wonderful relationship in San Diego County with our tribal nations and have the most uh, in the country uh, here in San Diego. And Adam Day, who is uh, assistant uh, tribal manager, uh, I want to thank him as well. Uh, and then our partners that uh, we work with all the time, Henry Coker is here, Mac Jenkins, the chief probation officer, uh, as the sheriff mentioned, we, he's taken up a lot of the slack in this uh, effort in uh, both the realignment and uh, now we're working on Prop 47 together. And uh, Chief Dave Bayerano, who is the chief of Chula Vista PD and also the chief, the uh, president of the Chiefs uh, of Police and Sheriff's Association here in San Diego County. And Ron Lane, thank you so much for everything uh, that you do. Uh, and uh, there have been certainly other people in the audience that have helped a lot. I was glad to see uh, former Mayor Sanders here. Mayor Sanders saw me in last time. Uh, and uh, the time before that, by the way, was my dad, which I uh, keep a special memory for. Um, and he's here with us uh, today. Uh, and uh, certainly there are others that are here today, too many to notice, um, but also uh, from the U.S. Attorney's Office, the U.S. Attorney, Laura Duffy. Laura, would you stand? Watch out, San Diego. You have the U.S. Attorney, Laura Duffy, woman, DA, woman, top cop at San Diego PD, Shelley Zimmerman, woman. I don't think she could make it today, but we're on a roll. <laughs> right, Madam Chair? And uh, I also want to, of course, uh, just mention my family. Um, you saw everybody up here, so um, I would like to uh, point them out and thank them because they have been here for the past four, this is my fourth time being sworn in. 
So uh, first, Diane Rubel and Bill, Dr. Bill Green, uh, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, and my cousins, Stephen and Rochelle, um, and uh, Judy Copeland, and uh, of course, uh, my mother, who uh, is going to be here forever. And um, I, I tell you what, she, uh, she was really uh, there during this election, which was not an easy one for a mother to go through. Uh, and I appreciate it very much, but my dad was up there uh, kicking you know what. And of course, uh, my spouse, Denise Nellison, who I'm um, very happy we don't have to prosecute anyone because I think she was ready to kill a few people along the way. Um, but I, um, I appreciate everything. It's, as Bill said, it's tough to be um, a family member in a time during an election. And uh, I love you very much. And to all of you again, thank you uh, so much for everything that you've done. Uh, I hope that, um, that all of you know that this is my passion. Uh, and I've always felt that I've been more of a prosecutor than a politician and more of a public servant than a public uh, figure. And some of the things that I care most about are championing the victims' rights and instead of chasing the conviction rates. And today, I reaffirm those goals and reaffirm the goal that in our office, the mantra is to always do the right thing, to have passion and compassion, to give a voice to the voiceless, and to make sure that we represent the broken as well as we can. So on behalf of our office, let's go get them. Thank you. Thank you, Madam District Attorney, and congratulations. And next, we have the elected official in the county that has the most titles. Uh, the county assessor, the county recorder, and the county clerk, Ernest Dronenberg. And the oath will be administered by the Honorable Judge Ronald Prager from the San Diego Superior Court. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Ernie Dronenberg. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear full faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And I well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. Congratulations. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge Prager. I appreciate you coming here today. Um, it's interesting because the judge and I were in the same high school graduation class at Crawford High School in San Diego, California, along with Sheriff Bill Gore. He was two years behind us, but it's the same great school that produced, well, two great people, <laughs> the judge and him. <laughs> the judge was an overachiever. I was a cheerleader. Uh, Chairman uh, Jacobs, uh, members of the board, I want to thank you for all your support during this last year. Um, it, it should go without, doesn't go without saying that I put the money where their mouth is. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys, and ladies. I also want to acknowledge the sheriff and attorney general, I mean, attorney general, I promoted you, Bonnie. <laughs> District Attorney Domenis and Treasurer Dan McAllister. 
county employees and guests. In the four hours that they've allowed me to speak to you, I'm trying to catch Bonnie here. Actually, my remarks will be short, and I have only three things I want to cover. First, I want to thank my wife, Marilyn, for her support in our decision to run for re-election. Her non-campaign background was a perfect filter for the ideas and strategies that we had during the campaign. Additionally, her terrific writing skills um, made a great editor and material um, for my materials and speeches. I want to thank my daughters. You saw two of them up here. And my family members, my sister and my son-in-law. And my granddaughter, who is uh, the oldest and probably the shyest, for their support and love. My thanks also go out to my campaign chairman, Barry Soper, Jim Ashcraft, and Don Oliphant, for, for they are still in disbelief that we achieved a victory in the June primary against three opponents. I've been in 16 different uh, contests, and I've finished in the money in every one. But the other 15 were not as tough as this last one. I guess maybe it's age, Bonnie. We get older, they get tougher. But, it, but we prevailed. 16 for 16. Um, all these people made today possible. Without their help, I wouldn't be here today. Four years ago, as a rookie, I stood here. I made some statements and promises. Today, I want to report that I've accomplished all those promises that I made four years ago. I want to mention just a few. I promised we would quickly reopen two prematurely closed offices to the public and restore normal business hours to all offices. We accomplished both without any increase in our personnel budget. I promised that we would have mass appraisal techniques in the appraisal process, allowing us to bring current market values adjustments quickly into place. With the help of then CFO John Stoyer, we shifted internal resources to enable us to substantially eliminate the backlog in the appraisal process. This reduced the waiting time for taxpayers and produced substantial savings and interest that the county would have to pay on refunds. As promised, we have worked hard to change the public perception that the accessory quarter clerk's office is one of being in long lines to one of being going online to solve problems, to get forms, and to evil, even file informal uh, reappraisals. We have now put every form online. In addition, we have the first accessory quarter office in the state that has an electronically filed signature form. That really excites a lot of you, I can tell. <laughs> we have made all these advancements while returning an average of $2 million to, in the annual budget to the county. That should excite you. Four years ago, I stated we would place a high emphasis on customer service. I am proud to say today the department's culture is now customer service first. All 414 members have taken a customer service training course. We measure, acknowledge, and reward good customer service. We have established an internal philosophy that good customer service is very important. Whether it's the customer at the counter or a fellow worker, we believe that our product is service and that great customer service is for everybody and everywhere. In each of our five offices, we have customer service reply cards. On a voluntary basis, our customers fill out these cards, and the assistant assessor reviews each and every one of them. Currently, 98% of the cards we receive are positive comments on our staff. 98%. Chamber of Commerce can't do that well. I uh, do want to mention that despite the rumors, I did not promise if you like your appraisal, you can keep it. Thirdly, I want to acknowledge the members of my leadership team. The Assistant Assessor Recorder Clerk Harold Scott does a fantastic job as second in command. Chief Deputy 
Recorder Clerk Val Woods, Chief Deputy of Assessment Mark Miller, Deputy of Human Relations Reno Reno, Deputy of Technology Ralph Bishop, all have worked well together and have done a terrific job at bleeding in their areas. I believe that positive change starts at the top, and these people are the tops. In closing, I have had the honor to serve the people of San Diego County in three elected positions for a combined total of 30 years. I have been responsible for thousands of government employees. And because of that experience, I can definitely say the 414 people that compose the Assessor Recorder Clerk's Office are by far the greatest. I can't tell you the number of times I've been stopped by friends and strangers and to tell me what a great job they, our staff is doing and what a friendly atmosphere there is in our offices. They are no longer faceless bureaucrats, but together we are all proud members of the San Diego County Assessor Recorder Clerk's offices. Four years ago, I promised to help the staff to become the best they can be and that together we would become the best Assessor Recorder Clerk op operation in the state. We are now the best in many areas and in the next four years, I believe we will all be A plus in all areas. Thanks to them, thanks to you for your kind attention and may God grant each and every one of us a great New Year's. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Assessor, Recorder, County Clerk, and congratulations, Ernie. And now, last but certainly not least, and I would advise everyone to hold on to their wallets, it's the Treasure Tax Collector, Dan McAllister, and the oath will be administered by Herb Johnson, President and Chief Executive Officer of the San Diego Rescue Mission. Dan, would you raise your right hand and repeat after me? I state your name. I, Dan McAllister. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear full faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of California. The Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, good morning. Um, I'm grateful uh, very much uh, to uh, the Board of Supervisors, the Chief Administrative Officer, Helen Robbins Meyer, Don Stoyer, and Tracy Sandoval, and other members of the county leadership team who create an environment here where all of us are given a chance to succeed and excel. I want to take just a moment, too, to thank my children, Katie and Patrick, who are here today and my good friend Herb Johnson from the San Diego Rescue Mission for officially swearing me into this office. I'm honored to be here today to begin my fourth term as Treasurer Tax Collector. I'm grateful to the voters of San Diego County who have once again placed their trust in me. I'm grateful to my team, my staff, who deserve credit for the efficient operations of our office, operations that have earned us 23 national awards for innovation and excellence over the past 12 years. Last year, our office achieved a 99.1% collection rate, one of the highest in the state of California. As a direct result of our education and community outreach efforts, property owners better understand the importance of protecting their real estate investments by paying their taxes on time. This year, my office expects to collect $5.1 billion, nearly double the $2.6 billion we collected in 2002, the year I took office. We pride ourselves on customer service, 
We've recruited a diverse and talented team, which now speaks 16 different languages. We created an e-notification program and now have over a quarter million taxpayers signed up to receive an e-reminder when their tax bill is due, contributing to the improvement in collection rates and earning the county a NACO National Award for Innovation. Just five years ago, we processed approximately 39% of our revenues electronically. This year, we processed over 50%. We are working to continue expanding this time and cost saving system. The county investment pool also continues to receive the Standard & Poor's highest ratings and now has reached $8.7 billion in size, the second largest in the state of California. Our local banking initiative invests pool assets in local and regional banks, injecting these funds into our local economy and making more money available to local borrowers. Two years ago, I promised to seek reform of school district use of capital appreciation bonds. With bipartisan support, we succeeded in passing AB 182 that imposes strict controls on capital appreciation bonds from school districts in California. Although we've accomplished a lot, there's a lot more to do. My highest priorities over the next four years are to continue improving customer service, increasing the use of electronic payments, and developing a smartphone app to make it even easier for property owners to make their tax payments online. In closing, I want to again express my thanks to the tremendous team in the Treasurer Tax Collector's Office and thank you uh, for your hard work, your innovative ideas, and your commitment to transparency and customer service. I also want to extend uh, another thanks again to our outstanding Board of Supervisors and the leadership that you give all of us every day and the chance to succeed at what we do. It means an awful lot to have everybody functioning as one team, one San Diego County team, and I'm proud to be part of that team. And again, thank you to my family and to the voters of San Diego County for their continued support. Thank you. Thank you, Dan, and congratulations to you too. Uh, with that, we're done. <laughs> Thank you all for attending. There will be a reception in room 302, and we invite everyone to join us, and you can personally congratulate and, and meet all of those and the rest of us uh, that were sworn in. So, again, thank you for attending. This meeting is adjourned. The next regular meeting of the Board of Supervisors will play, take place tomorrow.